Michael Moore says, his dog was viciously attacked by a pit bull owned by former friend Randy Rooks. Randy is countersuing for slander, lost wages, and harassment. If you thought 30 feet was a good lead, good for you. Evidently, it was too much of a lead because your dog injured him and injured his dog. But, Your Honor, if a dog's on a lead, you're not supposed to go in that area. <laughs> <laughs> she was on a lead because Rooks, they didn't get along. Ms. I was doing Ms. everything in my power to make sure my dog was safe. Then you keep the dog on a leash with you cooking, with your spatula or your 13-year-old, but you don't put your pit bull on a 30-foot lead around a whole bunch of people, and if trouble happens, you're responsible. If it's all good, terrific. Listen, you choose to get that breed of dog, madam. I May I see your vet bills, please? Dog. May I see your vet bills, please? Yes. When did you present her with the vet bills? Uh, the vet bills were actually presented by the property owner, which they paid, and I have since then paid them they, back. They were paid by which property owner? The property owner of that property. So they paid all your bills? They paid the vet bill only, and I paid them back in cash and labor. I don't... Uh, forget that. If they paid the vet bill, I'm not paying you. Do you understand? Yes, ma'am. Great. Sun Valley Animal Center was paid. And this is on the 20th. This is your patient history, Mike Moore. I don't see a bill for your medical treatment. My medical treatment is right here, Your Honor. What do you do for a living, Mr. Moore? I'm a professional landscaper. Do you work for your own company or you work for someone else? I work for someone else. Full-time or part-time? Full-time. They give you medical insurance? Yes, ma'am. So you have medical insurance to cover your medical bills? Yes. So you have no vet bills and you have no medical bills? The insurance has been taken out. What my medical bills are there or what I still owe out of pocket. Were you in the hospital overnight, sir? No, just for the afternoon. I did have to go back in and have surgery done on my finger, which also was just an afternoon in and out procedure. Got it. You got 30 seconds to tell me about your counterclaim. My counterclaim uh, is about them stalking, or excuse me, Michael Moore showing up at a massage event that I had going on at North End Nursery that they found out about via Facebook, even though I had blocked him. And they showed up prior to me showing up and came inside and were asking the coffee barista when I was going to be there. And she called me and asked me and told me Don't that there was... Don't tell me what she called and asked there you. Was, That's hearsay. There was two gentlemen waiting there for me. And when I got there, I had passed by originally to go up to my office to grab my face cradle and my lotion. And I had seen the two gentlemen... Date. That was June 10th. So what do you think he came to this job site to do? They came to ask me to pay them back. Okay. So they came and you said... Well, I'd already stopped talking to them because they had been reaching out to me, asking me to put my dog down and oh, stuff like okay. that. Okay. So I so stopped they... talking so, to them. Okay. I want to know what effort, because you were actually there and you saw that he was injured and you saw his dog was severely injured. What did you do to reach out to him to say to him, listen, whatever your out-of-pocket expenses are, I'll be more than happy to cover it. I'm really sorry that this happened. Did you do anything? Or you just did nothing and waited for him to come to you? I didn't just do nothing. I was definitely proactive about talking to well, them and asking mm -hmm. him how he was. But what I'm well, getting me, at well, is how I was asked to pay back the portion of his medical bills is Eric was going to add it on to my business I don't care what he was going contract. to do. Judgment for the plaintiff and in the amount of $5,000. Your counterclaims dismissed. We're done. Thank you. Pardon your excuse. You may step out.